Hi, Linda Sessions here, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Excel portion of the Dream Vacation Project. I want you to think about your Dream Vacation. Uh, it should be the same place for all three parts of this project, and you can go anywhere in the world except Legoland. So do some research on the internet, and you're going to need to find some costs. How much is it going to cost you to go on your trip? So you're going to need to find out um, the hotel, uh, a flight. I mean, if you're not flying somewhere, how much is it going to cost you to get there? How much is it going to cost you for meals, your breakfast, lunch, dinner? How much are you going to spend on snacks? And what about um, prices, ticket prices, if you're going to a park or if you're going on a cruise, maybe some excursions or something like that? Um, what are those prices going to be? And then miscellaneous, maybe some emergency money. Maybe you want to set aside money for souvenirs for your trip for each person. I know my daughter does that when they go on trips with their kids. Their kids are given $100 each to spend on souvenir items and on their trip, and they have to budget. So they're teaching their kids to budget a little bit as they go. So. Are you going to be doing that? So you might have that down here. Again, you might have some different things. Maybe you're not going someplace where you're going to be staying in a hotel. So you're not going to have a hotel fee. So you are not, you don't have to have these specific items. However, I want eight different items, okay? Um, eight different costs for your trip. As you're looking up the cost on your trip, down here on the, the sheet two, change that tab name to references. Remember to change the tab name, you're just going to double click on it and then type in the new name. And on that references tab, I want you to type in where you got your information. What websites did you go to? Uh, did you go to Expedia? When I went to, for my Legoland prices, I had to go to the Legoland website. Uh, I think I went to Orlando to find some information out on food. So where did you find the information out for these items? And you're going to put that information in the references tab. So you're going to need to know all of that information as you work on your assignment. Now here in the instructions, I tell you what I want you to do on your web sheet, on your worksheet, changing the title font. I want you to change the subtitle font, um, replacing the your name in, replace the your name text to your name. Don't just type in your name. Um, some of you guys have been doing that on assignments and just you want your name like I would put Linda Sessions on there um, if you're Jack Smith that's what you're going to put down there or if you're Engelbert Humperdinck okay that's the name I want after they're prepared by in cell 3. Use the today function now remember functions in Excel are pre-built formulas so here uh, this is going to be blank when you open it up. You're going to put in the today function. So I would make G3 my active cell. Come up to my formulas tab. And that's a date function. And it tells you that in the instructions. So I'm going to click on the date. And I'm going to come down here to today. And that is going to put down the date that you are preparing this. Preparing your file. Now in step six and seven, it has to do with formatting your worksheet and making it look good. Um, if you look at this, it says change the font color to white after you change the fill range. And remember in Excel, the fill is on the home tab and it's the one with this little bucket here. That's the fill. So finally, you're going to use some heading styles. 
And then in step eight is where you're going to be putting in the information that you discovered. Now step nine, eight and nine is putting the information and the cost for your items in. And then in 10, create a formula or use a function in E5 to determine the total cost for each item in your table and then copy the formula down. Then enter the number of days you'll be on your trip in F5. But remember, you probably only need to have one cost for the hotel, regardless of how many people are going. So you're not going to take that hotel cost times, you know, by a number of your guests, you're probably just going to have one room. And the same for your flight. Okay, you're probably only going to need one airplane ticket per person. You're not going to need um, duplicate, you know, like the number of days. So think about as you're entering in the number of days for your trip. Then in step 12, you're going to create a formula to determine the total cost and copy that down. And you're going to enter a total for trip. Again, enter a formula. You're going to figure out the highest cost for your trip. I want the lowest cost for your trip. And then I want an average per person. And so remember when we did our Excel, we did the average, high, the highest, lowest, and average. And so make sure that when you're doing those and using that function to create those, that you are looking at where your range is at so that you have the correct range for those, those functions. All right, formatting the cells and then changing the column width. Then you're gonna be creating a chart. So I want a 3D pie chart and I want it to look at um, your row of items in G5 through your last row of items. And so A5 and starting in A5 through your items and then G5 through your items. And so here I would select A5 through A12 and I'm going to hold down my control key and then I'm going to come over here to G5 to G12. Okay, so you need those, that information for your 3D pie chart. And again, to get that information, you're going to select the first range, hold down your control key, and select the second range. And that's going to give you the information that you need for your pie chart. So your final Excel spreadsheet will be very similar to this. See, I have my dream vacation, going to Legoland, prepared by, I've got my items over here, description, how many is going, I have my total cost, um, then you have your days, so you can see my hotel, I only need one because I've got my number going, so I don't need to multiply that again by three. Uh, my flight, I've got three going, but I only need one, all right? So this cost for my hotel is cost per day. So I've got three going, I have, so that's how you figure all that out. Um, my ticket prices, now you see I have two, that's because two at $85 each, but if they're under a certain age, I don't need a ticket for them. So I only needed two tickets because the others get in free. Um, and the emergency money, I just did the same thing. All right. So think about as you're figuring out your total cost, be, think about realistically, what am I going to do? figure out all your total cost, your total for a trip, your highest, and you can see my highest. I just looked at this range. My lowest, I did this range. And then the average, I 
I took the total cost for the trip divided by my number of people. Okay, because I want the average cost per person, not just the average of all of these. Then I selected my information. Make sure your trip cost is first. Then I've got my pie chart that I created. And then I have my references. I don't know where my references went. I would get marked off if I did this. You need to make sure you put your websites with your references on here. So that is your Excel portion of your dream vacation. Again, you're going to need to do some research on the internet and you can go anywhere in the world except Legoland. Make sure you go to the same place for your Word, Excel, and PowerPoint portions of the assignment. Reach out if you have any questions and uh, have some fun as you think about where you're going to go on your dream vacation.